welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be going through some Pinterest outfits and some Pinterest trends and just talking about how you can look like you just walked right off of a Pinterest board. I just feel like Pinterest has been like the ultimate like it girl app in the past couple of years even. And we're all kind of looking to look like that Pinterest girl. So I've taken it upon myself to like scour Pinterest and find some of the trends that I think really like stuck out to me in general that I see people wearing in real life and that I think you can actually make like real outfits out of from your own closet. Because sometimes the biggest thing about Pinterest is that you save a bunch of things, but like you don't actually own anything that's anything like that. So you can kind of use this video as a guide to what people are actually wearing and like what is actually wearable. And like when you go out on the street in these outfits, people are going to be like, wow, she looks so cool. Like she looks so fun and fashionable. So let's get into the outfits. Okay, one of my fave Pinterest trends are plaid skirts, whether that's a mini, a midi, or a maxi. Whether it's plated or flat or gathered, plaid skirts are absolutely the cutest thing to ever be gracing fashion right now. This outfit is a little bit inspired by Bella Hadid. Even though I don't think it could ever look as good as her in an outfit like this, I still look cool and it's honestly very flattering even if you're not 5'11 like Bella. The leather jacket is Danier, the skirt is Urban Outfitters, the shoes are Docs, and the purse is thrifted. The next trend is kind of less of a trendy piece and more of an aesthetic, and that is just leather. <laughs> leather anything and everything. Also, a quick little fun fact, if you've watched my new wardrobe video, I mentioned getting a graphic tee, and this is actually the graphic tee that I got. I felt like I had to show it off to you guys since I finally got it in the mail literally only a couple days ago, but it's from the Boy Genius store and it's the Never God tee. It's so cute and comfy and I love it. Anyways though, I decided with all of these leather pieces, I would style them in a cute, punk, um, YGK way. That was a lot of buzzwords, but it just made sense with the pink. The skirt is from Princess Polly, my jacket and hat are thrifted, and the boots are from Michael Kors. This also ended up being one of my favorite outfits because it is so simple, yet so cute. I think this does play into the femme and like tomboy look of the Pinterest aesthetic, since it's like a feminization of menwear, it's literally that. I ended up wearing the red tights underneath the dress pants as I thought it would give such a cute little pop of color with the ballet flats, and I was right. A little pop of red is just so Pinterest. They are obsessed with red on that app, which obviously means I'm obsessed too. As for the outfit details, my top is TNA, the pants are garage, and the belt is thrifted. The most classic Pinterest outfit of all time, a plain shirt, a midi skirt, and a neutral pair of shoes. I'm gonna say it right off the bat, I definitely should have worn my Oxfords or Mary Janes with this, watching the footage back, and I'm not sure I fuck with the sneakers as much as I did in the moment. Also, just want to talk about this skirt. It's from the Layfest collection with Emma Chamberlain, and I love it. It's so flattering on me and like so freaking cute. It's so well made. I literally want to kiss her on the lips for this skirt because I just love it. I had to throw this classic outfit in here to remind you guys that if you want to pull this off correctly, you just need a good statement skirt. Right now, the trend for skirts is very structured instead of like loose and flowy. Pleated skirts are like number one right now. If your goal is to be trendy, then you need to pick one up. For this outfit, I kept this Bella Hadid racer style going, but this time I paired it with a midi skirt and those knee high boots. I think it's also been such a big trend lately to pair long skirts and tall boots, which I say in like every video I make about fashion or style, but it has seriously been one of my favorite trends like of the decade. It's just so comfy and warm and like versatile. I'm in love. Also, I don't care what anyone says. I think long denim skirts are cute as fuck. And I will be continuing to wear them. We have the same DNA jacket and the Michael Kors boots as before, which are both thrifted, by the way. Cannot actually afford these things. <laughs> My skirt is also thrifted and from the kids section, actually. This actually ended up being one of my favorite outfits. I guess you could say this follows more along the lines of like Kaquette, which is obviously super trendy and I have made so many videos talking about Kaquette, but I'm starting to really learn how to style ballet flats and I actually love the femininity of them and just how they're a pretty neutral shoe. Also, of course I have to have a bow in my hair for this outfit. Pro tip, if you're 
Ever doubting your Pinterest outfit? Literally just throw on a bow. It will instantly make you look cool and trendy and better than everyone not wearing a bow. I can guarantee you. Anyways though, my cardigan is from Brady Melville, my t-shirt and my skirt is from Sunday Bath, and my ballet flats are thrifted Prada. Another trendy piece that I love from Pinterest are these maxi like beachy skirts, but that isn't the only thing here folks, because another huge Pinterest trend is to take these femme skirts and pair it with sportswear of some kind. Like, Usually they have like soccer jerseys or something like that, but I don't own one of those, so I opted for a racing shirt that I have, which is like the cutest vintage graphic I've ever gotten, and I went and paired them with my Mary Janes because I think that these shoes are the perfect in between a uh, femme and tomboy, and then my skirt is from Hollister. So maybe this outfit didn't do as well as it did in my head, but I still think it's the same amount of fun, like campiness that a lot of Pinterest outfits have, with a fun little trend, which is colored tights. I love a little pop of color in an outfit like this, and on top of that it makes it possible to wear shorts in colder weather. I also think that ballet flats look cute with tights, and you can definitely switch this out for a mini skirt instead of shorts if you don't like the look. But I feel like that Tumblr influence from Gen Z is just like coming back with the shorts over the tights trend. I love it, actually. And as for the outfit details, these shorts are from Dynamite, the tights are from Shein, and we've already gone through the top and the jacket and all that, so I'm not gonna repeat it. Now, last but not least, this outfit looks kind of basic, but I put this in here as a reminder that you can make dresses look cool and casual too. This dress is Thrifted BB Sport, which is honestly one of my favorite for finds of all time, and I just think that you can make a cute statement with this kind of outfit. You can wear a pattern dress or a colorful dress or like a more formal dress, and this will really dress it down. I just think a lot of Pinterest outfits are centered around a single statement piece that really pulls the entire look together. And this is the best example of that. I took like this, you know, quote unquote sportswear dress and I made it look so put together and cute. And I love that. Okay, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really like the outfits. Please let me know what your favorite one is or if there are any other trends that you love off of Pinterest, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, if you are really trying to look like a Pinterest girl and you're on your fashion journey, I do have quite a few other videos talking about like the Pinterest girl aesthetic in general. Um, also some other aesthetics like Coquette and Downtown Girl as well as like Clean Girl and stuff like that. So those playlists will be linked down below and yeah make sure you like and subscribe on this video and i will see you guys next time goodbye